Well, I was on the Drake can in 2017. I saw the posters of the male ensemble action movies looking for financing. And I was just like, why don't they do these with women? <laughs> and so I talked to my agent, Hilda Queeley. We figured out a plan on how to make it. I called all the actresses. I said, we'll develop the script together, the characters together. Um, we'll raise the money together. Um, we'll make it outside of the studio system independently. We'll make it for a fraction of the cost of what it normally makes. And all of the actresses are going to be the owners of the movie. And that's what was exciting to me. I felt like the film had never been done before in terms of like taking women in espionage incredibly seriously and not making it cute or like a joke. And then I was excited about valuing the actresses as the owners of the film, which I feel like the industry for a long time has devalued actresses. You know, she is someone who I think we kind of made fun with the stereotype of the lone um, spy figure that we've seen so many times in American films. You know, you see with a lot of like, I, I want to work alone and <laughs> that kind of quality with her and they're like slow to trust anyone. So we played with that a lot. And then I really liked the dynamic of with Diane's character that they really at first sight just can't stand the other. But the reality is when you can't stand someone, it's usually because you see something of you in them that you have difficulty with yourself. And so the more they get to know each other, they realize they can't um, succeed unless they work together. And I loved that also love story uh, in our film. Well, it literally it was like a dream list for me because it, by having the idea in some sense I got to invent all of it. I got to invent the prospect of working with Diane Kruger and Penelope Cruz and Lupita Nyong'o and Fen Bingbing um, and Edgar Ramirez and Sebastian Stan. I got to like invent that our first day of shooting would be in Paris <laughs> and all these incredible locations and also working with Simon Kinberg as the director and and writer and then um, Teresa Rebeck who is one of my very favorite playwright. She's the most produced um, uh, female playwright in the United States and having her um, create the script for us. So every day it felt like I can't believe I'm actually getting away with this. It was like it was something that I had just wished and then it became into fruition. It was it was tough. I mean, it was important for me if we were going to make a film like this, that the, that the action feels um, real and um, uncomfortable and painful. I mean, the reality is everything that we did, I did, I did every single thing. I leapt off buildings. I did all the fights. I actually one time I had to go to the hospital <laughs> because I hit my head on a marble floor at one point. I mean, I didn't want to pull any punches or make it feel easy and show up and be like, okay, someone else do the hard work. It was very important that all of us and all of the actresses really showed up, um, show what we're capable of. And to see Diane Kruger riding that motorcycle through the Parisian streets in Arcade, to see Lupita um, have that fight scene in the Hammam, to see Bing Bing with the staff work and Penelope with, first of all, her great humor, but then also like holding the gun at the end, it was really special. Yes, our consultant on our film um, is, works in espionage, and um, she told me that between female spies nowadays, they use the moniker 355 as a badge of honor. And 355 was a secret code name for the first female spy during the American Revolution who worked um, for George Washington. Her real identity is unknown to this day, um, but women in espionage use that moniker, the 355, as a badge of honor and a way of acknowledging this woman, acknowledging all women who have done the work in the shadows to keep us all safe. And I wanted to honor them as well. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and comment on the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to be notified when new videos are released.